After the disaster at Fukushima's nuclear power plant, a lot of mothers living nearby made a difficult decision. They took their children and left their homes. They were concerned about local radiation levels, but that meant being separated from the fathers who stayed behind to work. About 10,000 mothers and children moved to nearby Yamagata, but now some mothers are rethinking their decision. NHK World's Ayano Kazama reports from Yamagata. Makiko Anzai moved here with her two sons in July 2011. Their father stayed behind to work. She decided to come here because she felt the children were stressed out by living in Fukushima. After the move, the children seemed happy again. But last fall, the younger boy Leo started behaving differently. He often burst into tears, calling out for his father. The problem started after the father, Takashi, had to stop visiting every weekend. He was too busy working, so Leo only saw his father once a month. And it's time for one of those visits. The children can't seem to get enough of their dad. Previously, they didn't say daddy so much, but now they often feel the need to say it. It makes me feel sad. I blame myself when I leave and see them in tears. Afterward, Ryo became even more distraught. Anytime, day or night, he would burst into tears. Being separated from his father was too much to bear. It was hard for Makiko to tell which was more harmful to the boys. The risk of radiation exposure or the stress of living away from their father. For a whole week, Ryo carried two coins that his father had given him. They're only worth about a dollar. But for Ryo, it's the sentimental value that counts. They're a link to his father. Makiko had seen enough. At the end of the month, they'll rejoin their father in Fukushima. When I moved here, I did it for the good of my children. But through their behavior, they are telling me that what they really want is to be with their father. So I will honor their wishes. Mothers took their children away from Fukushima to protect their children's physical health. But some youngsters are paying a high price in emotional health. Now mothers like Makiko are forced to make a tough decision. Ayano Kazama, NHK World, Yamagata.